Hello, I'm Richard Tallheimer, president of the Sharper Image. The purpose of this tape is to give you a brief introduction to our history and some of my philosophies. You're probably a new employee or a prospective employee at the Sharper Image. Our company is a little bit different than other companies, so I thought I'd share some of these differences with you. Now, you may not be familiar with our history, so let me just summarize it in about two minutes. In 1977, the Sharper Image started with a small magazine ad advertising a runner's watch. That ad appeared in Runner's World magazine. A year or two later, we were selling thousands and thousands of a new wristwatch, which was slightly different, but the same idea in magazine ads. In 1979, it became apparent that perhaps we'd be safer to diversify into a catalog. That is, to spread our products out over a, a broader range of products so we weren't tied up with just one item in one magazine ad. So the color catalog was born. And today, that catalog in 1983 is uh, 64 to 70 pages of beautiful color. Each catalog has about 150 different products in it, and about half of those products are new each catalog. Now, the catalog comes out four times a year, about 7 million copies each season holiday, spring, summer, and fall. That makes us about the biggest catalog company in our field in the United States. L.L. Bean is bigger, but other than that, there is no specialty catalog as large as the Sharper Image. Let's discuss briefly how the Sharper Image gets orders and how our advertising programs work. We basically have three areas, catalog, magazines, and television. The catalog you're familiar with is the main Sharper Image catalog. I say main because we do have some other smaller catalogs now. The Sharper Image catalog you're familiar with most is this large one, about 60 to 70 pages, color, and has all of our products. Well, that's not exactly true. It's not all of our products because once in a while, if something sells well, we have what we call a theme catalog. And a good example of a theme catalog would be the telephone catalog the watch catalog, the gemstone catalog, or the woman's catalog. But here's the point. We have one main catalog that we send out seven million copies of four times a year. Then we, the theme catalogs are sent out as we get them done or as the season warrants. For example, gemstones work better at holiday and the phones are working great right now because AT&T is being decentralized. Now our magazine advertising advertisements are done in many different magazines. Uh, some of the most common ones are Smithsonian, Popular Science, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal. But we use a wide range of magazines, whether it be Time, Playboy, Savvy. Magazine ads serve the purpose of getting catalog requests as well as selling products. And you may have heard of our newest catalog, the Sharper Image Living Catalog. The Living Catalog is a video presentation when we get calls off these video catalogs, we either sell product or we take catalog requests. Catalog requests, as you know, are one of our most important things. Whether we generate mailings for our other catalogs or whether we rent the names to other catalog companies, catalog requests are an important, important source of income for the Sharper Image. Our audience is 70% men, 30% women right now, and we're getting more women customers every day. You may have noticed that our reputation is slightly upscale. That means that we sell to professional people, men and women, who work in mostly white collar or technical or managerial professions. 65% of our orders come in over our toll-free phone lines because these people are accustomed to using the telephone. They like to pick up the phone and call up. Now, when customers call us from outside, they call to either order or to inquire about customer relations. Usually those two areas are where most of our phone calls come in. In both of them, the most important thing to remember, the single most important thing while you're here, is that that's the only impression the outside customer usually has of us, how we respond on the telephone. Now, when they call, they expect us to be very sharp. When you think about it, these doctors, lawyers, engineers, technicians, programmers are used to a high level of competence. And when they call us, they expect the same high level of professionalism. So it's vitally important that you remember to act professional, 
to be friendly and courteous no matter how unpleasant a customer may be. Perhaps that's their way of getting out whatever's bugging them that morning. And remember, it may not be us. Maybe it's our manufacturer that's let them down, but all they know is they ordered from us. And the first thing we must do is to acknowledge that fact and say, you're right, Mr. Customer or Ms. Customer. I agree with you 100%. We sympathize greatly with your situation, and we want to do everything we can to straighten it out. Now, let's discuss what we can do to make you happy as soon as possible. Sometimes, of course, it's impossible to make them 100% happy today. But they'll realize that we're human if we keep them posted of what we're doing, if we accurately do what we say we're going to do, and we don't promise anything that we can't do, if we do what we say we will do and then follow up on it diligently, we'll keep that customer happy. If, it's often been said in the mail order business that occasionally if you don't get what you want or if you don't get what you want when you expect it, you're disappointed. But if the mail order company conscientiously explains to you why the delay is occurring and keeps you posted regularly with an option to cancel at the appropriate times, the customer can patiently wait for quite a long time. I'm just giving this illustration not to say that we normally take three months because the fact is, is that 80% of our items go out in about three to four days and the customer has them within seven days to two weeks. But rather to illustrate the importance of being honest with the customers, telling them accurate delivery times whenever possible, and keeping them diligently posted. And we have a fancy computer system that does most of this automatically, but you will have occasion to talk to customers occasionally if you're in customer relations. If not, or if you're doing written correspondence, just remember, the customer only sees us by the telephone or in writing, so it's vitally important that we do things the right way, the sharper image way. I think one of the most important things to remember is how we feel when we get something in the mail and our name isn't spelled correctly. So remember, if you're involved with a catalog request, and certainly with an order, let's get the spelling of the person's name right. It's amazing, but you won't believe this, but it's true. If you sat in on phone calls and listened to people spell their names, you would think you know how to spell their name. I mean, the guy says Jim Roberts. Well, you think I can spell Roberts? Or Jim Laughlin. You think I can spell Laughlin? Well, the fact is, is everybody spells their name differently. And as obvious as this point may sound, it is 100% true that everybody has their own way of spelling their name, and rarely do we get it right the first time. So let's just stop and say, now, how do you spell that, sir? Or how do you spell that, ma'am? By the way, while we're on the subject of sirs and ma'ams, I have to say that if the customer gets off the phone with us thinking that we were a little too polite, that's great. I love saying, now, sir, what was the address you wanted that sent to? Or, ma'am, is that item number X, Y, Z? That little ma'am or sir really makes a difference. So does please and thank you. A funny joke around here is the word OK. So many people like to use the word OK. They say, uh, Mr. Jones, we'll send that right out, OK? Mr. Jones, that delivery time will be two weeks, OK? Well, that isn't right. For one thing, the word OK invites another response. The guy says, no, two weeks isn't OK. How about one week? Or, no, I think I'd like to ask you one more question. So rather than asking OK, why don't we say thank you? Mr. Jones, we'll send that right out in two weeks. Thank you. Mrs. Jones, I'm putting you down for one number product XYZ. Thank you. Now, what was the zip code that you wanted me to send that to? Thank you sounds so much more polite and finishes the conversation. Let's use the word thank you instead of OK. Thank you. If you've looked at our Sharper Image t-shirt, which you get after three months of employment, you notice that it says the Sharper Image. Underneath it says Sharper people, sharper products. Let's talk about those two things. Sharper products means that sometimes we introduce products before anyone else in the country. They give us an exclusive, in other words, so that we can be the first ones to give the publicity to the product. Why do they do this? Because they know that if it goes out in our catalog and we send this product to seven million homes, they'll get more exposure than they'll get any other way. So they often give us this product first and let us show it in the pages of our catalog. Now, we also make sure that the products are somewhat superior. That is, we play with the products, we check them out, we give them to people in our company to take home. They have to give them back, of course. To make sure that the product really is durable, well-made. Occasionally, it does happen that a product disappoints us. But by and large, we make sure that our products work better and are selected better to begin with. Now, we sell different types of products. Some are technologically new, 
Others are simply older concepts, like the solid oak file, but at a dramatically new price. Either one of those two things qualifies it for being in the Sharp Image catalog. Sometimes it's just simply that the product is dramatically unusual. Uh, the suit of armor. It's not cheap and it's not new. It's just unusual. Now the people are the other part of it. Sharper products, sharper people. The people at the Sharper Image have several traits in common. For one thing, they're used to thinking for themselves. This is not a company for people that just want to be prodded and poked. It's a company instead of people that are doers, people that want to get ahead in life, and they know that the Sharper Image has opportunity for them to get ahead. We always are hungry for people to move into more responsible positions. As you work here, you'll see this. You'll see that there's a high energy level, that these people are committed, they like what they're doing, and even though the work is sometimes hard, you'll never complain that the day is boring. After you've been here a year, you can participate in our profit sharing plan, which lets you share in the profits of the Sharper Image. Now, one more subject we want to cover, the Sharper Image retail store. We do have a store in San Francisco. People often call up and ask about the store. If anyone asks you, you should tell them, we have a great retail store. The one at 680 Davis Street is opening right now, and by the time you're watching this tape, it's probably open. The other store has been at 406 Jackson Street. The important thing to remember about the store, and you remember this vividly if you're ever there when it happens, is the customer who storms in angry because we promised him a product was at the store and it's not. The reason is, is that all products are not at the store at all times. Therefore, you must tell the person, these are our hours at the store. The store is here and has most of the products in it, but certainly if you're going to drive a ways to come in and see a particular product, call the store first and make sure they have the product. That way you won't be disappointed. We have plans to open up more retail stores, but right now we only have one in the, Char in the uh, San Francisco area. Well, I appreciate you listening to these points. It probably seems like I'm a little bit picky on some of these points, but don't forget, this is the sharper image. We have a slightly different way of doing things, and in the long run, it's enabled us to grow from practically nothing in 1977 to a $100 million business today. The reason? Simply that we do have sharper people, and we take a sharper approach to handling orders and customers. So bear with me, and I think you'll find it'll pay off for all of us in the long run. Your work directly reflects on the person next to you, and their work directly affects your income. That's why we set up the plan this way. Let's pull together as a team. Think of it as a bunch of people in a boat pulling together. And if we're not pulling together, we're going to throw the whole boat off. You must be a part of this team, and I want you to be a part of this team. So when you start working here, think about working with everybody else so that we all do better, whether that means seeing waste, being more efficient, avoiding mistakes, helping everybody to be in a better mood. All these things add up to a much sharper company. I look forward to meeting you personally. Welcome to the Sharper Image.